My name's Christopher and I'm 12. I'm Pam and I'm Christopher's mum. Christopher was actually away at his dad's house and he got really poorly with sickness and diarrhoea. So I stripped him off and all down his legs and his bum was just covered in red spots. So I did like the glass test. You know, I thought, oh, meningitis. And I was like, oh no, it's like, it's not going away. So I took him to the hospital and they said, oh, it's not meningitis, it's HSP. And I was like, oh, thank God. And it turned out that HSP can be pretty bad. Usually it's just a rash and kids have like ache and joints or sometimes a tummy ache and then they get better. One percent end up with kidney failure. So he's obviously the one percent. I really didn't have a clue about kidney disease at all. I thought, right, your kidneys, they clean your blood, that's it. I didn't realise they did as much as what they do. Yeah. It's bonkers. We came in one day for a blood test, just like what we've done today, and one of the renal nurses said, right, do you want to come and look at these machines? She took us into a room and showed us a picture of the PD machine, like what he's got now. And I was like, well, what's that? It just looks like an old, printer like from the 1990s or something and then I had to have training to use this box. Turns out that that's the best option for us because Christopher wouldn't like to sit there and watch his blood go round because he's got autism. So we got the machine and a little trolley cart from the hospital. We went home and there was a delivery of stuff from Baxter, which is all the big boxes of fluid and all the caps and the pipes and everything, what you need. And it was just like, well, where am I going to put this? And you need to make sure that you've got enough of it. And it's all in date and it's a lot at the beginning, but now it's just like second nature. It's a box. I have to sit and sleep next to it in the night and it's making like all night until the morning. It does make a little bit of noise but it's not as bad as what he says. The dialysis, yeah, was a lot at the beginning because I was petrified of getting it wrong. Sometimes I thought, oh, you know, if he was just in here for three days a week then that's taken it away from me. But on the flip side, he gets to go to school every day. So he's had like the psychologist from the beginning because he came in and he was flagged up as having autism so he might need a bit extra intervention or whatever to help him. The whole team's kind of like extended family. The girls here were like just so lovely and the doctors were all lovely. Forty mils of water he's allowed a day. This week I've actually started freezing his water to send him to school with and he's going mad because he kind of just drink it. I said but you don't budget it th throughout the day so you know you've got PE last lesson you'll, you'll have done it in by then if I didn't freeze it. Even just like a little bit of extra water every day can be bad for them and it's so dangerous and I do have a hard time with school understanding. Mum says I think I'll get it, my transplant in a summer of this year. I'm going to get my dad's kidney. It's got a good chance of working because obviously it's his dad, close, closest match he could probably get. And then I've got the, um, oh well he's getting his transplant and it's sort of like, oh wow, so it's all done and dusted. I'm like, no, no, it's, it's not a cure. I hope I do get to go on holiday on a plane again soon, or a, tr or a train, or a boat, that sounds a good idea.